Max Field. Thanks, everybody. I'm excited to be here. How are all my fig newtons doing tonight? I, uh... <laughs> I just forgot my mind. But, um... I am excited to be out here. I'm excited to be doing comedy. Comedy is really exciting. Um, it is one of only two jobs in the world that can pay you for making a jackass out of yourself. One being comedy, two being an actual jackass. <laughs> uh, the other day I heard this saying, uh, that, uh, age brings wisdom. And so I went to my grandfather and I said, uh, Grandpa, give me some words of wisdom, some advice, something I can take along with me that uh, I can take through my life. And my grandfather looked at me and he said, okay. Jamie, remember, being outside will give you gonorrhea. <laughs> and at that moment, I realized that my grandfather was crazy and that saying is full of crap. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of gonorrhea, how many people have a TiVo? I love TiVo. I got a couple months ago. It's exciting. I, I can do all kinds of things with it. But a, I remember the first time I heard about TiVo. My friend called me up and he goes, Jamie, I've got, I've got TiVo. And I said, John, I'm sorry. How long did the doctor say you had? <laughs> but I do love gizmos and gadgets. I'm actually an inventor of gizmos and gadgets. I invented a little device that I called the uh, Sloganator 3000 down in my basement. And what it does is you can type in a slogan and it'll actually take that slogan and apply it to the proper uh, product that it was supposed to go to. So I want to share some of my uh, research material with you. So I typed in the slogan for uh, Mentos, right? And it come out like this. Massengill, the fresh maker. The other one I did too was uh, the one for brawny paper towels. And it came out like this. Maxi Pad, the fresh maker. <laughs> the quicker picker upper. That's the line. But one of my favorite ones is the one for Visa, right? I type in Visa and it comes out like this. Trojan, it's everywhere you want to be. <laughs> but like every good device, there are some glitches, right? This one had a glitch. I typed in the one for Meow Mix, right? And it came out like this. Depends. Tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. <laughs> I don't think that one works. But one of the great things about comedy is that you get to actually share moments with each other. So I'm gonna share this moment with you. All the ladies here should remember this moment, and some guys in the audience will remember this as well. And if you haven't had this moment, don't worry guys, it'll happen to you. You're just a late bloomer. And that is the actual first moment I ever felt my boob shake. <laughs> I, I remember like it was yesterday, I was at work, and I was walking down some stairs, right? And I'm walking all of a sudden, I was like, what in the world is that? What's the sensation I'm feeling? And about five minutes later, it dawned on me. I'm like, my boobs are shaking. And at first I was scared, I was scared to death, right? But it's actually turned out to be a great blessing because it's changed a lot of things in my life. I, I now shower longer, right? And I make sure I get lathered up. And I just get clean. I get all kinds of lather. And instead of when I get out of the shower, instead of going up to the mirror and doing a couple of these, I now do this. And every now and then I'll actually take the toothbrush and I'll go like this, stick it out there. And hold it up. It's a great trick if you guys can not, but you should try it. But anyway, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. My name is Jamie Maxwell, and don't forget to get your kids spayed and neutered. <laughs>